time to accept that we have a gigantic rollback going on. Sell, sell, sell. We're seeing an assault on pretty much every economic front right now, and the market's furiously trying to build in the negatives, <laughs> including today, where the Dow lost 94 points, S&P shed 0.75%, NASDAQ tumbled 1.04%, but at one point it was down much more than that. It's hard going because bear markets, you know we know we're in one. Bear markets always try to tempt you to buy, like this one did all day. When I got up at 4 a.m., we were looking down about a half percent, same as last night. Made sense. There's nothing good happening today except the bond market's closed for Indigenous Peoples Day. Bonds have been central to the market's problems. So when that store is closed, it's good news for the stock market. Sure enough, the market then begins to work its way higher, starting about 5.15 a.m. Mind you, there's some overseas noise about British bond buying, but here, there's nothing to justify that kind of inflection. I checked the big research houses. The way they have think pieces that come out over the weekend. Again, nothing positive. We can't find anything worth hanging our hats on. Individual research on individual companies. I know to buy J.P. Morgan stock at the end of the week. Kind of interesting. Upgrades of Kraft Heinz and Merck against a slew of downgrades and price target cuts. Miasma. It's all bad. I mean, really bad. Nothing to buy. Right down to still one more hammering of China on semiconductors. This time, much, much more broad than expected, as I had to tell members of the charitable trust who follow me in the charitable trust and the investing club. At the same time, of course, Russia ups the ante by firing missiles all over Ukraine. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.